So, um, if a patient has an injury to their spleen, that's a splenic injury. What are the ways that these injuries can actually present? What are the ways? Okay, like, how will the patient come to you? If the patient comes to you, what will you observe, right? So, that's what we try to look at under the concept of a presentation of what? Splenic injury, all right? So, these are the different grades of splenic injury, different grades that we have, all right? Different grades of splenic injury. So, um, we said that what splenic injury, okay, we'll define it before we talk about the presentations, right? Splenic injuries usually result from blunt abdominal trauma. Patients often have abdominal pain. Sometimes it radiates to the shoulders and there could be tenderness, right? Diagnosis is made by CT scan or ultrasonography, right? Treatment is with observation and sometimes surgical repair. So rarely, a total removal of the spleen, which is splenectomy, is necessary, okay? And splenectomy will be necessary in grade 4 splenic injury or grade 5, where there is crazy damage to the spleen, okay? Beyond repair. So you just have to remove the whole spleen. This grade 1, grade 2, and grade 3, you can repair, all right? For the presentations, if there's an, okay, ultra-urgent splenic injuries, the patients might be in shock, all right? And it will need immediate laparotomy, all right? Therefore, the gradual deteriorate, uh, deteriorating what? Splenic injury, that means what? The injury has been there, but it's just moving gradually, just taking the patient down gradually, gradually. So majority of patients will present like this. Okay, uh, initially normal, but gradually, as you admit them in the hospital, the condition is deteriorating. Okay, so that's when there's gradual deterioration. Okay, then delayed rupture. This one occurs after days or weeks or even months due to sub -sub subscapular hematoma. So there was actually what? Bleeding in the spleen, but it's not rupture. It held down the bleeding for a very long time. Okay, so um, after a long time, the bleeding will eventually rupture into the peritoneal cavity. That's why you're having what hemoperitoneum. Okay, and uh, there could be digestion of initial clot by enzymes released by release from concomitant damage to pancreatic tail, or due to what delayed recognition of splenic injury when minimal signs are present, all right? So the thing is, um, the spleen has blood in it, but it's not rupture on time because it held down the bleeding, but eventually ruptured because maybe there was digestion by enzymes, okay? So it eventually ruptured. And when it ruptures, the spleen is found in what? Peritoneal cavity. So it's now what? Bust out the blood in the peritoneum. This type of patient will present with abdominal pain, right? Abdominal pain, abdominal distension. There will be tenderness. There will be muscle guarding, okay? So I think, guys, that's it for presentation of what's splenic injuries.